Welcome to our Five on Five. Pleased to be joined today by Ken Goddard, the director of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Forensics Laboratory in Ashland. Ken, good to see you. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Yeah, my pleasure to have you. It's a, it's a truly unique lab that you're head of there in Ashland. Uh, why is this so unique? Well, I'm sad to say that we're the only such a crime lab for wildlife in the world, a full service uh, crime lab for wildlife. We want very badly not to be. We would love to have other scientists involved. Uh, there are a few countries have one or two people doing maybe genetics work, but uh, crime labs like ours are expensive and nobody else has stepped forward. So we continue to be the official crime lab for 194 countries. That's, that's amazing. You, you, you see some, what, what's, the, what's the most bizarre thing you've, you've had your people look at? <laughs> Sorry, out of the blue here. Out of the know? blue. Because I mean, we've seen you know, alleged chupacabras and all mm -hmm. kinds of bizarre things that well, we've, we've looked at. People suspect that we have Sasquatch <laughs> in the lab. We don't, by the way. But, Thank you, I was about to ask. Yeah, but uh, I'd say the headless walrus case we worked where several hundred walruses washed ashore without their heads along the Alaska coastline. Mm. And three of us from the lab and two agent pilots flew along the Alaska coastline for eight days, landing next to these decomposed walruses, slicing them open with a flensing knife and digging around in decomposed walrus guts for cannon shell fragments. That was one of the more bizarre crime scenes I've ever worked. And you've worked some bizarre crime scenes. So, yes, you know, I, I have. I was going to get into your background. You started off at working crime scene investigations uh, with the sheriff's office, is that yeah, right? Right out of school, by accident, literally a judo accident, I ended up being hired as a deputy sheriff, a criminalist, a uh, crime scene investigator at Riverside and San Bernardino County uh, Sheriff's Departments, basically the Mojave Desert, where my job was to go out there as a young guy and dig up bodies and shallow graves. and. Uh, shovel the, the grave through a sieve looking for evidence. And how similar is, is that old job with what you guys do there at the lab today? Well, I think one of the most fun things I get to do is travel to Africa to help train uh, African rangers to work elephant and rhino kill sites like homicide crime scenes. Hmm. Uh, we've, been, we've probably trained, uh, I would guess, 150 rangers so far in doing this type of work is through our attache program. We have senior special agent attaches in uh, three embassies in Africa, and they coordinate our training, and the idea being that the trained rangers will go to their crime scenes, collect evidence, get the evidence to the attaches who send them to our laboratory. Uh, so there, it's a very efficient way of getting evidence and helping the rangers out there, ideally going after the poachers. Mm, very, very fascinating. All right, we're going to take a quick commercial break. Much more in just a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, here with Ken Goddard, the director of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Forensics Laboratory in Ashland. Uh, how many people, Ken, work at your lab? Thirty. Thirty. Okay. And you guys? Scientists, technicians, clerical staff. Okay. And, and you guys recently expanded the facility. What, what did you do? We added a 14,000 square foot morphology center, uh, which contains our standards collection, our things uh, for us to identify, let's say, a piece or a part of an animal. We have to compare it against a known piece or part or product. We have 100,000 such items, wow. uh, hip, skulls, bones, teeth, claws, feathers, mounted heads, uh, that are all in this new facility now, which uh, is, once we have it all get together, it's going to be quite visual. Wow. Yeah, I imagine you'd have to do a lot of comparisons because uh, of the uh, bizarre things you guys see. Well, we get things from all over the world. Uh, and, you know, if you have a whole elephant, you don't really need our laboratory. It's pretty mm -hmm. obvious to the average juror, I think, you know, large butt, little tail, big ears, sure. tusk. It's an elephant, it's not a rhino, it's not a hippo. <laughs> Fair. Uh, but if you've got strips of skin, um, chunks of meat, you've lost those species-defining characteristics. So part of our job is to come up with new ways of identifying species based on pieces and parts. And part of that is to have a standards collection. So that's what we've established now between us and the National Guard. Uh, and ideally... Your, your neighbor in the National Guard Yes, as well. uh, yeah. who, who looks out after us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the police are our primaries, but uh, mm -hmm. the National Guard does keep an eye on us too, which we appreciate. Yeah. Uh, but ideally, uh, when we have our, our grand opening, you folks can come out, bring a camera, and you'll get to see some interesting visuals. Oh, there are some interesting things going on there, as, as we've been discussing. Yeah. You, you referenced during our commercial break that UPS, FedEx, they, uh, they surprise you sometimes. You know, uh, you never know what's coming to your uh, life. Ideally, we know what's coming. Uh, we'd like everybody to call us first, but every now and then, something just shows up out of the blue. Probably the more jarring example was uh, a box that clearly was from Africa. We weren't expecting it. Our evidence techs did the proper thing. They ran through x-ray. They saw mm. a primate skull, which didn't make them happy. Uh, 
I found out about. I was in D.C. Uh, I was going to just burn it. But I mm. thought, well, it's got to be a reason they sent it to us. So we went through a very large, uh, involved uh, decontamination process. We made the package safe. Because yeah. uh, you worried about Ebola? Or anything, or, any yeah, disease okay. vectors. You know, it's, it's much like going to a hospital. You know, you, um, pretty much every hospital in the world has an isolation ward for TB and things like that. Sure. But that doesn't stop you from going to the hospital to see your brand new uh, yeah. baby bo born. Mm -hmm. And we have a similar type of capability within the laboratory to deal with things safely. And we did in that case, and it turned out it was a monkey skull from Cameroon where there was no Ebola. It was perfectly safe. Mm -hmm. And the agent just never got around to calling us to letting us know he bought it on eBay. Wow. <laughs> bought, it, bought it on eBay, huh? <laughs> you never know. Fascinating. Yeah. It, uh, our average day can be fascinating. Uh, I'm looking at retiring you know, some down the road, but I'm really going to miss it uh, because it's, every day is just uh, something new. That's, that's what I love about this job. <laughs> Great to meet you. Thanks so much for coming. Appreciate Thank you. it. All right. Stay with us. We'll be right back.